हाय वेलकम टू लोडर ने ट्यूटोरियल्स मैं प्रीवियस क्लास यू हैव लर्न हाउ टू प्रिपेयर वेब सर्विसेज स्क्रिप्ट फॉर डब्ल्यूएसडीएल व्हिच इज अ सोप इन लोडर ने सो टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन यू हाउ टू पैरामीटराइज your script in load runner which is we are using a virtual user generator okay so please watch my previous video so in order to understand how to prepare web services scripting in load runner okay let's see how to how to perform uh, parameterization see here i have four tags class customer name departure date flight number and number of tickets so in this one see 1 2 3 4 what are the five values we need to pass this is the input parameter input argument and these are the output arguments i have saving in different different parameters this one parameter underscore order number param underscore total price okay so let's uh, prepare our parameterized testing in uh, load runner i am using virtual user generator to create the script okay in go to this action here you will see every recorded script okay just simply right click okay replace with parameter create new parameter so i am entering parameter you can give any name okay instead of clicking okay just you need to go to see original value is economy this one you need to select click on properties see as a default this is a parameter type is file okay so file 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 path you need to provide so these are dot dat file so i'm going to create dot csv file okay just go to this flight reservation uh, directory click on browse okay flight reservation uh, and, uh, mm, just check all files create uh, so let me create uh, this is a create flight order okay that csv file i'm using click on open see here it will not any having any data it is asking that data file does not exist to create a click create so simply click on create file create a new data file named create flight order csv so see here i have selected simply click on okay see what are the parameter name i have given here this parameter name will be as column name then your original value is this one you can modify with notepad okay <coughs> just go to by name select column name these are the class of class underscore flight it is a column name okay so which is uh, unique not the sequential it is a unique click on close click on okay just check this one hp virtual user generator do you want to replace more occurrences of the string with parameter suppose class tag is mention anywhere anywhere in the script with economy what are the economy i have replaced that will be replaced in enter script if it is found so here we do not required anything okay just click on no see it is created class underscore flight yes save okay we will do for rest of remaining four this right click replace with parameter create new parameter here is the customer name so i'm creating custom underscore name file so original value is rajesh kuchana let's <coughs> go to properties so properties type is file select csv file it will create sorry it will display already created uh, data so here you need to create the column okay we have already created table just click on add column so what are the column name you want to give just provide rajesh kochana data is automatically populated why because original value is there okay now this will be you need to select by name 
customer name and uh, this will be same line as class fight so what are the data it is taking from this line economy then that data will be picked up from this row then only it will go to next line okay click on close click on ok click on no so we will repeat for the same and to change the date okay this is our departure date click on properties select csv file add column departure date okay select by name select as same line as class fight close okay no save your file just click on uh, select right click create new parameter parameter name is fight number click on properties select the csv file add column click on ok by name fight number and uh, row as class fight same same k ok no no click on right click parameter and uh, tickets ok properties select csv file add column ticket by name and uh, ticket just you need to select as a same line as class file close ok and click on no so in your script is done ok if you want to see if you want to edit ok if you want to edit your file just uh, go to flight service that has created um, Okay, and uh, load on the tutorials. See, we have created. I think here flight reservation. See, file is generated, right? This is the folder structure of your uh, script in load runner. Okay, this is a flight reservation. If you click on this one, close this one. If you click on it will open virtual user generator and it will open your file. It is having uh, see everything which is having extra files which is generated custom body variables. Okay, your action file will be here. See these are the action file it will display. Okay, your file will be here automatically create this SOS file okay replace summary reports script operations everything it will display okay now go to here you completed now go to runtime settings now just wait we need to pass the parameters click on parameters see how all the parameter list it will display okay if you want to edit the file click this already CSV just click on edit with notepad so I want to run for three iterations. Okay. Enter. Enter and save. I'm saving this to the second and fourth. Let's see fourth. Fourth and uh, name I'm changing. Mm. Okay, economy I'm selecting. Number of tickets is a one. Close go to here okay close just save your script so I have taken three rows so if you want to run for three iterations just go to runtime settings okay your run logic just should be three if you have mentioned one minute it will run for only one time so with one data only it will take pick up only one record from the excel csv sorry just click on uh, pacing. Pacing will be as soon as uh, previous iteration ends. Okay. So no need, no need of any delay. So log. Log should be always extended log so that you can view parameter substitutions with different different test data. How it is substituting data written by the servers. If you are sending request, what is the response it is giving? 
okay advanced trace log all the virtual user messages and function calls okay think time if you have if you want to give think time you can give so i am giving a ignore think time so these are nothing okay additional attributes so miscellaneous you can use continue on error fail open till transaction on lr underscore error message okay generate snapshot button click on this one okay it will generate as a process thread everything speed simulation you want to use for what is the bandwidth which mbbs you want to use okay, use maximum bandwidth you can check okay advanced these are the options it is available just click on okay save see if you are running your script it will run for three iterations let's see click on replay it will run is running so this step zero navigator it is giving every each and every parameter step by step see replace status is pass okay click on view for display i have given start start and end transaction so that it will display time 0.85 milliseconds it has taken okay 0.85 seconds or in 0.85 seconds it has taken so total is 8558 milliseconds okay if you see this result and log here it will display each and every step see here it is pass status okay see order number 44 total price 196 if you go to here upper see it has taken Row. The proxy auto come come come. Okay. See ending iteration two, starting ending iteration starting iteration three. It has taken data from the file. See create class file three. Table equal to class underscore flight. So getting new value for parameter table. Create some CSV. Column is zero. Row is three. So okay. column is zero. Mint class underscore file. It is a row. Class zero column row number is three. Third row it is taking why because it started from iteration three. So like this it will display every details here. So what are the details it is passing economy? Okay customer name. Okay this one date flight number and ticket. Okay so it will pass the value to here input value. Create flight order order number is forty four response this one is the total price of this one. Okay, see everything. It will display one ninety six forty four, forty four one ninety six ended with pass status create flight orders transaction. So if you want to see, I will show you the test result. Go to replay summary test result. It will open test result. It is having it is ran for three iterations. One two three. All are passed. Pass is a three. Failed zero. Warning zero. If you open this one, it will display here everything. HTTP traffic. See what is the input that it is passing? Economy, name, date and time, flight number and number of tickets. You have got a response 42196. If you click on this one, it will display the URL. What is the operation name? Flight service method, service name, toolkit, testing aspects. Positive, we are doing. Web service call was successful, which is the past. The same, same. It will display here. Okay. Action summary. Everything is will display. Okay. So like this, uh, you can uh, perform parameterization for number of records. You can in my real time, I'm we are using around twenty five thousand records for parameterization of your. Uh, test scripts which is generated in virtual user generator so with this uh, pass or fail you can identify whether the script is working properly or not then you can take the script to the controller so you see from here you can set up controller create controller scenario goal oriented scenario or manual scenario number of virtual users to load generator is the local host flight uh, this is a real directory click on okay So creating controller scenario. So I think controller is not installed in my system. Maybe it will not. 
okay it is creating okay in my next lesson we will see fail to create a control scenario why because in my system it is not generated so i will show you how to create the control scenario in load runner okay load runner controller okay thank you thank you for watching my video please subscribe for more videos thank you okay share your knowledge with anyone if who want to learn okay, any topic if you are uh, analyze if you are a good learner if you are a good uh, knowledge on any topic just share your knowledge to others okay please share my video also so that uh, most of the users can uh, get some good knowledge on uh, load runner and as well as please subscribe to my channel you will get uh, good knowledge with real time examples okay thank you thank you for watching uh, my video please like and provide your comments valuable comments feedback thank you